A very good afternoon to you. Um, it is a lovely day here in Manchester and uh, very nice to see the kids uh, playing out in the sunshine uh, when they are usually inside playing on their uh, Xbox or whatever it is they've got these days. Um, you are watching the Fix Wing Guy channel with me, Stuart Lomas. Um, sorry I wasn't around yesterday. A uh, combination of two things. Um, one, went to a vintage car and motorcycle auction um, very interesting. Uh, lots of things there that I could have been parted from my money uh, for. Um, a couple of cars there that I would have liked. Something I've had a yearning for for many a long year, which is a uh, Triumph TR6. Um, absolutely beautiful old British sports car. Uh, I always recall one of my metalwork teachers at school having one and lusting after the new TR7 when that came out. Uh, and after that, after being unfortunately stood up for quite a long time, um, the pain hit. So uh, I wasn't particularly well yesterday, uh, not particularly well today, um, but I thought I would make a uh, video but just to ask a, a fairly simple question, which is, um, I'll only take literally, it'll be minutes this video. Um, the question is, do we need a dress watch? Um, well, I personally do not own a dress watch. Um, I own watches that can be worn as a dress watch. Uh, as you know, I own two um, Seconda Quartz chronographs, which are both rose gold. Um, both have a very nice mock croc strap on them. Uh, both have a very nice champagne dial. Uh, one is a little bit more dressy than the other one, so that both of those can be used as a dress watch at a pinch. Uh, I have a tank style watch which my partner has stolen at the moment, which is uh, is a dress watch, but I rarely wear it because it's getting uh, it's a little bit small for my 8 inch wrist. Um, but I have, I have to say, been considering uh, an Orient Bambino for quite a while. Um, solely on the basis that materialistically they uh, are gaining a lot of traction uh, Orient for making uh, good quality timepieces at actually very reasonable prices. Um, I also like the aesthetic of them being a kind of uh, throwback to the 1960s Mad Men kind of look. Um, and I think there are situations where a dress watch is necessary. Um, a lot of the divers stroke sports watches out there are a bit too big, a bit too bulky, a bit too showy to be honest. Um, if you're wearing it with uh, a dress suit or more importantly uh, a dinner suit if you're going out to a formal function. Um, so kind of to answer my own question with this one, uh, do I need a dress watch? You know, I kind of think I do. Um, I do occasionally go to dress events, uh, not as much as I used to when I was uh, a professional fundraiser. We used to do large charity balls and things like that. Um, but I still own um, a dinner suit and occasionally do don it. Um, possibly going to do that fairly soon once again at the beginning of August. But we shall see. Um, so for me, perhaps the answer is yes. Um, but if you are completely different to me and you are perhaps convinced that your um, dive watch is perfectly acceptable uh, as a watch that you can wear uh, as a dress watch then by all means let me know and try and let me know why. Um, I mean if you are a lover of Panerai for instance I quite like the look of the Panerai but personally um, as I don't own a Panerai but I do own my uh, Marina Militaire Fiddy which for all intents and purposes is um, a Panerai homage that would look very silly under the cuff of a dinner suit for instance. Um, if you don't have the occasion to wear uh, a dinner suit or, or a proper lounge suit as it were, then maybe you don't need a dress watch and that's, that's perfectly okay because you have your justification right there for saying to me, no I don't need one. Uh, but for the rest of us, um, for maybe uh, an evening do at a wedding, 
or um, you know a, a funeral maybe where a big flash watch is uh, not apropos maybe um, on the other hand is it just nice to have a dress watch to wear now and again if you take your wife out for a nice meal and you know that is one of the rare occasions where you wear a collar and tie to have a nice dress watch something simple not too flashy something a little bit subtle that just fits nicely under a shirt cuff um, if you've not checked out the uh, Orient Bambino range have a look at them they are lovely understated um, ideal for a gentleman's dress watch and at a price that really um, you can't say no to so that's it I know this is a very short one but I don't feel particularly well today so um, I shall do my best to recover and be back on form tomorrow um, so let me know um, do we need a dress watch yes no if no fine let me know your reasons why and if yes um, tell me if you want one tell me what it is uh, tell me if you love wearing it because it's like a uh, an indicator of a special occasion as it were if you have a dress watch that was a gift even better let me know um, so you know the drill um, thank you very much indeed for my new subscriber uh, that arrived overnight I have uh, sent you a little welcome message I do hope you've received it and thank you very much for joining this merry little band uh, of what is now 159 people who <laughs> for some reason enjoy watching this nonsense so for now I shall sign off uh, any questions queries suggestions for this kind of nonsense down below as always uh, and I shall look forward to reading and replying to all of your comments I have had a request from one of my subscribers Mr Benjamin Bale uh, I speak to Ben on a fairly regular basis via email um, to do more um, political uh, based videos so um, I will do that but with my own uh, little twist on them so they're not going to be dry and boring I hope uh, I have got one or two ideas and they are floating through within the pipeline that is the nonsense between my ears um, so for now I shall bid you a fond farewell thank you very much for watching today uh, and I'll be back again tomorrow hopefully, hopefully in more fine feckle I hope you're all well I'll speak to you soon bye bye